If you're visiting Universal Studios, what are the best ride cues that you just don't want to miss? Hey Pew Crew, welcome back. If you're new here, on this channel we talk about all things theme parks, including updates, news, and even tips and tricks for your next theme park vacation. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. The Universal Orlando Resort is known for their immersive lands and their in-depth theming. And within that theming, of course, includes ride queues. So what we're going to do in today's video is we're going to give you the top five ride queues that you can't miss at Universal Studios. Also, this video is just for Universal Studios yeah. and not Islands of Adventure. So if you want us to rank the best ride queues in Islands of Adventure, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and leave us a comment down below. Number five on our list is Racer New York starring Jimmy Fallon. This ride queue is so different from any other ride in the parks, and we absolutely love it. Yeah. Instead of standing in a single file line like you typically do, mm. in Jimmy Fallon's, it's like you're actually inside NBC Studios for a filming of The Tonight Show. This ride is actually housed inside of a 30 Rockefeller replica, which is where The Tonight Show is really filmed. Once you're inside the queue, you enter NBC Studios and you're given a colored ticket that yeah. corresponds to the group that you're going to be queued with. Then you head upstairs to the waiting room where there's all kinds of things to keep you entertained. Yeah, once you get upstairs, there's a bunch of TV screens playing different clips from The Tonight Show. If you're lucky, you may get to see a live performance from Hashtag the Panda. He'll sometimes get up on stage and do a little dance, and you know if he's dancing, I'm going to be dancing <laughs> with him. Uh, there's also little interactive like, tables and screens where you can actually play games while you wait for your group to be called. And the best part is you don't stand in line. There are seats everywhere, so you actually get to sit while you wait. This is honestly one of the biggest reasons that we ride Jimmy Fallon's. Yeah. And of course, in typical Universal style, it is so well air conditioned in the queue, which makes this the perfect place <laughs> to get out of the Florida heat for a little bit and just relax. Yeah, so we do enjoy the ride, but we will admit there are times that we queue up for it and we don't even get on it. We just go up there so we can hang out, get in some AC, and take a little break. We think Jimmy Fallon's is an awesome example for future rides that breaks the mold of what a traditional ride queue has to be. In fourth place is Men in Black Alien Attack. You enter this queue through the Universe and You exhibit mm -hmm. before Agent Zed interrupts the narration and informs you that you're actually here for MIB training. Of course, there's always a Universal team member there to make sure that things go smoothly, and they always put on such a great show. Yeah, we really love the ride queues where there's a team member involved because it just makes the experience that much more immersive and that much more entertaining. Like Tyler said, this queue is so immersive yeah. with everything from a break room filled with worms getting coffee to a weapons room with every kind of alien zapping gun that you could imagine. Anna might want to consider taking note of the guns that are in there and maybe even getting her a new gun for the ride so she can score a little bit better. That was unnecessary. <laughs> but this queue is also one of the few in the parks that you can ask for a private tour of and get up close and personal with some of the aliens in the immigration and controls room. We actually did this on yep. our latest trip to the parks and it is one of my favorite park memories like to date. So they're not always gonna have a team member available yeah. for this tour, but it is absolutely worth asking to see if they do. Coming in at number three on our list is Fast and Furious Supercharged. Hello? What do you mean Fast and Furious made a top five list? Yeah, yeah, I know. We give this ride a lot of flack on this channel. Flack that I might add is well deserved. <laughs> but as bad as the ride is, we actually think the queue is really good. It's set up like you're going into the garage where all the cars are stored, and some of them are actually pretty neat. We find ourselves taking pictures in front of them even though we aren't car people. And also in the queue, they bring in those live actors that we were talking about, the team members, that just make the queue that much more fun. 
Yeah, this is kind of similar to the Men in Black queue as far as the live actors are concerned, but in Fast and Furious, the team members actually interact with the actors on screen yeah. and the people in the queue. So it does a pretty good job of like tying the story together as far as that's concerned. Sometimes we pop into this queue from time to time because we do enjoy looking around. <laughs> but then when we get to the end of the line, like where people are actually waiting, yeah. we leave because we don't actually want to ride this Not ride. <laughs> one bit. This queue also does a really great job of fan service because yeah. all of the cars that you see are actually cars from the movies. And when I was talking about the actors on screen, those are all of the actors that are actually in the franchise. Yeah. So if you're a Fast and Furious fan, you'll probably enjoy this a lot more than we do mm -hmm. because Tyler's seen like one or two of the movies. I think three. And I have seen none of the movies. <laughs> and we still enjoy it. Yeah. yeah, we still enjoy this queue. So if you actually like the movies, you'll probably love it. Number two on our list is Revenge of the Mummy. This queue does a great job of telling a unique story that fits perfectly into the Mummy universe. When you enter this queue, you enter through the Museum of Antiquities. Yeah, say that 15 times real fast. Museum of Antiquities, Museum of Antiquities, Muse <laughs> can't do it three. <laughs> So when you enter through the Museum of Antiquities, That's two. you see all kinds of props from the movie and you can hear a video talking about the curse coming to life during filming. Yeah, so the video actually sets up the ride really well. It's got like the cast and Brendan Fraser and the cast is just talking about all kinds of weird stuff that's happening on the set. So they're wearing like the Magi symbols because they think it's going to help protect them. And seriously, it's just a great setup for what turns out to be a fantastic ride. Although Brendan Fraser denies the existence of the curse, he is quickly proven wrong when the mummy kidnaps and mummifies one of the cast members, Reggie, who can be heard warning you about the curse in the beginning of the Are queue. you insane? Get out of here! The curse, it's real! <laughs> Silence! <laughs> Actual recreation. We, we love this cue so much and it tells such an amazing story <laughs> that that Brendan Fraser yelling for his coffee at the end is just classic universal at this point. Ghostly swoosh. Before we get to number one, we do have an honorable mention that we just oh, couldn't exclude from this list and that is E.T. Adventure. E.T. is such a nostalgic yeah. ride at Universal and it all starts with the queue. Before you enter, you're greeted with a video from Steven Spielberg himself. <laughs> and he is very young in this video. He's got, he's just a young buck, a stud if I may, and that leather jacket is mwah. <laughs> Steven Spielberg explains that E.T.'s home planet is dying and he needs your help to get back home. Once you actually enter the ride building, the queue is set in a forest that's similar to the scene in the movie Found when E.T. is trying to evade the police. This queue is also filled with all kinds of hidden Easter eggs that you can look uh, let's for. Just, let's just cut to the chase. The real reason that this ride is an honorable mention and the reason it should have made the top five is because of the smell. <laughs> you love the smell, we love the smell. If you don't know the smell, you need to smell the smell. <laughs> smell. No, but seriously, <laughs> besides the smell, another aspect that they're not doing right now, but we really hope it returns soon, is when they used to take your name mm -hmm. and then at the end of the ride, your name gets said by E.T. It's just an awesome touch and it's something I remember from my childhood, so we really hope that they bring this back soon. In first place is Harry Potter and the Escape from Gringotts. Like, everything in the wizarding world this queue is so well themed it feels like you are actually so there so when bad. you enter the ride you enter through the lobby of gringotts bank where you can see everything from lifelike goblins working at the desk to the giant chandelier that we all remember from the movies as you make your way down to the vaults you can see the infamous newspaper, The Daily Prophet, strewn on the tables. And if you listen closely, you can even hear Harry, Ron, Hermione, and Griphook planning behind one of the closed doors. 
You then enter Bill Weasley's office before taking an elevator miles, miles underground where you meet up with your guide and embark on your journey. This queue has such a wow factor the first time you see it. I know on my first experience, even knowing how great Universal is at theming things, I was absolutely floored at how perfect that queue yeah, was. Yeah, so you walk into Diagon Alley and it takes your breath away. It's beautiful, it's emotional. And then you make your way back and you see Gringotts with the dragon on top and you're more breathless, so you're <laughs> like barely breathing. You're more emotional. And you're sitting there thinking like, it can't get any better than this. And then you walk into Gringotts. <laughs> I'm not saying it gets better, but it definitely doesn't get worse. Like it's no. just a perfect replica and they make you feel like you're actually there. I, I mean, I cried, yeah, I'll admit it. Another thing we love about this queue is that you don't really miss anything if yeah. you use an express pass. With some of the rides on this list, if you do go through the express line, you're going to miss most or even all of the queue, but that's just not the case with Gringotts. You still enter through the lobby of Gringotts yeah. Bank and you join up with the standby line before you head into Bill Weasley's office for the pre-show. So even if you do have express pass, you're still gonna get to experience pretty much all of this queue, you just may not have quite as much time as the standby line. All right, guys, that wraps up today's video. Leave us a comment in the comment section and let us know which would win in a race, the party bus or the Kong bus? <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. You can hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell notification so you get an alert every time we post a new video. Thanks for watching. That smell.